My name is Marcelina Morgan. We're at the Hip Hop Archive and Research Institute at Harvard University in the Hutchins Center. I ended up going to the University of Pennsylvania. I ended up doing linguistic anthropology, but what was really absent was women. And the topic of my dissertation was on African American women's language. And so I wanted to represent that in some ways, and um, there was a big pushback uh, when it came to me doing that kind of work. I became very, very frustrated and couldn't figure out what to do. What saved me was what was known on the East Coast at that time on the uh, TV station as Kung Fu Saturday. So if you look at that in terms of language and power, the master who really was the one who taught and had students, they actually practiced Kung Fu with styles, some of which were really respectful, really deeply complex, very interesting, and valuing Kung Fu itself. Those movies were full of women who could fight, and they would often fulfill a stereotype and come in and kick butt all over the place. And so for me, going through this frustrating period, I think it really was also a part of, you really have to develop these arguments um, and that are convincing if what you're saying is, move over ideas, move over theories, move over ideology, you know, let's have room for this. And so I was really being encouraged to do that. And what kept me sane was Kung Fu Saturday. And the ultimate example of that was Master Kill. 36 Chambers. Wu-Tang Clan has an album and it's Enter the Wu-Tang, and it's 36 Chambers. I think one of the things that I appreciate about Wu-Tang, uh, too, is that it really I, made me understand, at least, how much America was invested in a narrative that didn't actually look at how powerful this country is largely, I think, because of just all the creativity that's happening, and that a lot of this creativity comes out of communities of color. What hip-hop does, I think, is it goes back to that Shaolin. There's styles, there's argument, there's fighting, there are battles, and hip-hop battles are really important because they're lyrical battles. They're battles about ideas. They're battles about skill level and all sorts of things. It's not a battle to destroy. It's a battle to build hip hop. You can't go into battle and expect to win if you haven't gone through the basics of something. If you think about that in terms of education. You think about that in terms of someone who wants to be the top MC, the top producer, DJ, the best dancer, the best artist, etc. You have to practice. And the idea of the archive at Harvard is we believe in the highest possible level. And we think hip hop is where you start to get that.